The map view displays a map picture of your location. When you are connected to the web, tapping the map and choosing Edit Map Photo allows you to easily edit the map information. Notice how the location flag travels with the center of the map. When you are done editing, tap and choose Save and View to use the new map location. When you are connected to the internet and are editing map information, you can also use the iPad's positional tracking to display your position or center the map on your position. Because getting location information uses a lot of energy, iScout Location doesn't constantly update location information like the GPS in your car. Notice how the small chevron in the top bar appears only briefly as iScout grabs your location and then turns off GPS to extend battery life. Tapping the small info button displays a popover that contains necessary licensing information when using map data and some of the icons in the iScout Location program. When you are connected to the web, tapping the map also allows you to view the map coordinates using different online map programs. Maps are also implemented for locales. When you view a locale that contains locations, you can see a flag for each location in the locale map. The same holds true for collections, where you see a signpost for each locale in the collection. Tapping the mail button located at the top of either the location detail or recommendation view activates an email interface populated with all the location details, recommendations, map, and pictures. This allows you to easily send the location scouting information to your team members or prospective clients. At the top of the collection view on the right, next to the dice, is the Backup and Restore button. It allows you to backup and restore the entire database and all the associated maps and pictures to a different storage area within the iPad. You should backup the data whenever you make changes. Then if anything goes wrong, a couple of taps will fix the problem. For example, once I have done a backup of the database, if I accidentally delete the entire personal collection, I can recover it by simply restoring the database. Advanced users can use the iPad settings program to modify some of the iScout location preferences. You can use the preferences to change the style of the map when you edit it and change it to a new style when you save it. For example, 999 will give you a nighttime map view. If you are a CloudMate developer, there's a place to use your own map key instead of the iScout location default. There are also two toggle buttons to allow you to reset your startup view or restore your database during startup. The trick to activating the user preferences is to make sure that you remove iScout location from the quick start bar at the bottom of the iPad and then restart it. Well, that about wraps up my techie video on the iScout Location app. I hope you liked the video and will download and use the program. If you're a content developer and have some good locations that you want to sell, enter them into an iScout Location database and then contact us for the details on our profit sharing opportunities. I can be reached at iScout at SweetlightStudios.com. I look forward to meeting you online and sharing our awesome locations.